So day zero of the flight has come and gone and there's some really interesting things the community has found out about Halo Infinite. People found a way to hack into custom games and play around with some weapons that are in the game but not supposed to be in the flight. There are some insane glitches with this game and BXB is back in Halo Infinite but more overpowered than ever before and a whole lot more so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So I streamed the Halo Infinite flight last night and I had a ton of fun. I mean, we only had training mode and weapon drills originally. And that was a ton of fun to test out some new things and just play around with some new sensitivities. That's really what training mode's for and does a really great job of that. But of course the community had to find a way to break Halo Infinite and break it, they did. And in this video, I wanted to showcase all the insane things people found online about Halo Infinite's flight. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out feed the algorithm of YouTube, help us get in a better place. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to tap that subscribe button. Let's get right into the content here. So yes, with this flight, all you have right now is training mode and the weapon drills and eventually when PVP goes online here in a few hours, but you were able to do this. People found a way to get into custom games in this flight. I don't know how people figure this stuff out within like the first six hours of this thing being live, but yeah, they have options like mode editor. You can pick your maps, lobby options and server. You can choose if you want to do like offline servers, if you want to do Xbox Live, if you want to do LAN servers, you can set that up right there. But the mode editor is where you can find some really interesting things like weapons that are literally in the game, but not part of the flight. You can play with the mangler, which is a really cool thing. This is kind of like a heavy hand cannon kind of thing. Like think of Destiny with the hand cannons, very similar kind of idea with the mangler. You can play around with the sword here as well, which is both these are not in the flight, but they're actually in the game itself. I got a chance to play around with that a bit. The coolest weapon though in the whole thing is the cinder shot here. This is like a grenade launcher that has like a tracking kind of ability where if you scope in and you can kind of track where the grenade kind of goes. It's really fun for runner weapon. Kind of reminds me of like the AD Victorium, right? Or the AD Victorium, how you want to pronounce it. Where basically if you shoot it, you scope in, you can kind of direct where the rocket goes. Same idea, but with a kind of grenade launcher kind of idea. First thing is also playing with the disruptor hand cannon kind of pistol thing. I can't really tell the difference between like why disruptor is there compared to like any other kind of pistol that's in the game right now at the moment. But it's really cool. It's a brute kind of weapon that shoots like electricity at people. Maybe it has ability to chain kind of like the shock rifle. I'll need to test that out a little bit more. But custom games are pretty tough to get into right now. It's not just like click on custom games. There's a really random, awkward roundabout way to do it where my brain's too smooth to figure out how to do it. But uh, luckily some people in the chat were able to help me out there on live stream. So really appreciate that support there. The Hydra is in this build as well. And it definitely has been remade in Halo Infinite where it has like a alternate firing kind of mode or the looks like the horizontal one is kind of just like a straight fire rocket where if you do like this alternate fire with like a circular kind of reticle to it it'll do kind of a homing shot kind of like what we've traditionally seen with the hydra from halo 5 and so it kind of retains that kind of classic because or previous version of the game as well as you can see right here it's kind of homing in on shots so I think there's just kind of a difference also with the fire rate when it comes to the different modes as well. So it's really cool to see like this differential in weapons when it comes to functionality in Halo Infinite. But here's a really cool thing. This is the Sentinel beam that's in the game. I saw this actually previously within the August development update where it had like on, on the screen where you can play around with it. I thought it was the Sentinel beam and it looks like I was right. The Sentinel beam freaking is sounds amazing it looks super freaking cool it kicks like a horse though the recoil on thing is pretty insane so this is gonna be like a really buffed up version of the sentinel beam it's not the meme beam anymore from halo this thing is a powerhouse meant to be played around with and it's amazing it looks amazing sounds amazing and i cannot wait to actually genuinely get a chance to play around and have to like do some roundabout way to do it and even though we did confirm this on the channel previously it looks like a lot of people are kind of finding this out as news as well saying that the thrusters look to be back in halo infinite with this little tip here on the screen saying use the thruster while moving to dodge any direction to and evade attacks now i did talk about the thruster in a previous videos guys as we did see it like as an option as a key bind specifically and also that we saw like an actual image of the thrusters within halo infinite as well that we covered previously on the channel so you know we're always on top of the news here 
Though it looks like the thruster is not in this build at all. It's not in the game. It's not in the flight at either. But once we get a chance to play around with it, guys, I guarantee I'll let you guys know how it works on this channel. Now, even though Behemoth will only be able to come in on Sunday for the flight, it looks like some people found a way to kind of get finagle their way into the mode itself. And uh, you know, I wasn't able really to figure it out on stream, but but people were actually finding ways to play Behemoth. It actually is in the build right now. Uh, I tried looking at tutorials on how to do it. I couldn't really figure out ways to do it, but you know, it's pretty much like how you saw from the live stream when David Ellis was playing on stream for the three for the three for three stream. But uh, you know, it's in the game. If you want to try to play it out around, you can. It's, uh, I mean, the map just looks freaking amazing. It's just, I can't wait to play this on Sunday. It's gonna be so much fun. I know a lot of people were upset about the fruit physics, but have you seen the bag physics within Halo Infinite? Okay, this completely makes up for it. We do not need to delay the game anymore. We have bag physics. So, you know, clearly bag physics way more important than fruit physics, guys. So just keep that in mind when you're playing the game. But these bags, they're legit. So there are a couple of things that are different with this flight as well. Like one is they changed the sound of the needler, which the needler sounds amazing now, guys. Like just take a listen to this. Now, doesn't that sound like the classic needler to you guys? Oh. It just sounds so good. I'm so happy about this. Uh, they also changed the sound of the gravity hammer, but the gravity hammer doesn't sound as good as it can be, I think. But just take a listen here. And you can hear it still sounds like it's a bit hollow. It looks, lacks a little bit of like thickness to the sound, I think. Uh, well, here's a really funny glitch I wanted to showcase you guys. If you have a dynamo nade and a floor sign, well, some crazy stuff happens right here. Check this out. You just start duplicating signs like all over the place. Like, look at this. This is just insanity. <laughs> so look how many signs are being created right now. I don't know how this happens, but this is like one of the best glitches to ever be found in a Halo game, dude. This is incredible. <laughs> my frames are dropping. Look how many signs are being created. Oh my God, my game, I hope, is my game gonna crash, dude? Because like, this is just an insane amount of signs being created. <laughs> Dude, I'm down to like 20 FPS. This is insane. <laughs> so this is just like one of the weird, funny things about the uh, flight guys right here. One of the coolest additions here on Live Fire with the grapple shot, you can actually go around the entire map without actually touching the floor right here. So I want to kind of run it through you guys right here so you can see what I'm talking about. These straight zoomer vibes right here, man. Like, look at this. This is just insane. I'm just kind of Tarzan my way, Spider-Man my way around the map here, guys. I guess it's just crazy. This is like one of the, this is just some of the stuff you can pull off with the sandbox, dude. It's just so freaking cool, the stuff you can do in Halo Infinite, man. I just love being able to, I was, like I found myself on stream doing this and I was doing this for like 15 minutes straight, just like zooming. Cause why not? It's hella fun. <laughs> I wanna show you guys this next section here. This might be one of the most broken things in the game that I'm actually kind of worried about for when the public flighting goes live with the matchmaking. Is like BXB is back from Halo 2 and it's like way overpowered guys. So the way it works right here is that you have to shoot your gun first. This is kind of the easier way to do it. And if you just spam reload and melee at the same time, look at you can just melee like it like you're on a super like you've cracked out taking some straight lines of cocaine and G fuel and you're just meleeing like crazy here. I'll walk up to one of these bots here to show you how wow, quickly you can just melee somebody that's just insane i really hope this gets fixed out at least during the flight or sometime like after this flight because i cannot imagine this being something that can stick through the game this can't make it towards launch and 343 is where this actually unishek did ch jump into my live stream while it's doing this and he's like yes we are aware of this issue and uh, it sounds like they are going to be able to fix this but uh, while the flight's live guys just keep this in mind that bxb is back and stronger than ever and people will be doing this and uh it's pretty insane stuff so i'm just hammering melee and reload at the same time as long as there's a shot as long as you shot a bullet out of your weapon you can just do this insane melee combination right here now you can also do it with a fully loaded weapon where you do melee yy melee that's another way to do it i'll show you right here so go like melee yy melee that's the way you can do it with a full clip in your uh your weapon right there obviously the easier way is just be spamming reload and melee at the same time and it's a lot easier it's a lot more consistent and it's just like just ridiculous <laughs> like i can't believe this is like something got through testing you know with uh with halo infinite here like 
I really am not looking forward to that with the flighting, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens with uh, you know when public flighting goes live. So that's all the insane stuff you can do with Halo Infinite right now. I'll see you guys in the matchmaking because I'll definitely will be streaming it again tonight when, in the evening session for the live stream, guys. So make sure you check out our Twitch channel down below. And if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos right here. I got a playlist for all my Halo news and informational videos are. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.